Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you are new, welcome, thank you for stopping by. We are back with another Will My Curls Pop and this week we are trying out Kinky Curly products. I have seen this brand around for years, like honestly I've seen this brand ever since I started watching YouTube and that was back in 2008 and I have never tried this line so I'm really super excited. It was a unanimous vote. Everybody wanted to see Kinky Curly this week. Thank you guys so much for tuning into the live stream I had a great time with you guys and you definitely picked up my spirits so thank you for that and so let's hop right in let's see how the products are doing smelling feeling all of that good stuff so I'm pretty sure that you guys are all familiar with this line and I picked up the kinky curly not today this is the leave-in conditioner and it looks like a hair milk slash like jelly texture it seems like it's going to be like in between a light gel and a like conditioner kind of feel and i got these long nails so i can't do anything okay all right the smell is pretty decent actually oh it's pretty thick okay so i was kind of right it kind of feels like a jelly conditioner kind of feel mm, it smells really good too okay so i'm half and half about this texture because i feel like it is very light um but we'll see how it mixes in with the gel and then the curling custard heard so many great things about this and why can't i open it Oh, you gotta cut it. Okay, so they making sure you can't get into this thing at all. Hold on, I'll be right back. <laughs> Are you kidding? I still can't get it open? Wait a minute. Alright, here we go. Now that, you know, trying to get into Fort Knox, this thing was like hard to get open. And now I can't get the white plastic. Okay, let me get myself together. They want to make sure you do not test this stuff out in the store. That's why they got this closed up like that. <laughs> Alright, so the gel. Right away, love the smell. It's kind of springy, kind of like flaxy texture. Um, so that could be a good sign. Maybe where the not today is kind of lacking, the gel will pick up. Um, and you guys did give me a tip. You said to use this on soaking wet hair. Everybody started typing that after they found out what we were using this week. So I'm definitely going to do that. I got my spray bottle back. I don't know how many weeks we were without the water bottle, but it's back. And yeah, so I'm excited to get started. So without further ado, will Kinky Curly make my curls pop? Let's find out. Here we go. Ooh. Don't you just love that? Get a good scratch. <laughs> and I'm just coating my hair with water. Taking about that much. Okay, surprisingly, it's feeling moisturized as if I was using like a thick cream. Wow. And that's actually clumping together really well so far. I'm going to do one more squeeze. That feels really good, actually. Wow, okay. So, I'm liking this so far, y'all. That goes to show you sometimes, even if the product isn't ideally 
the texture you like, the formula might still work on your hair. Because even though this is thin, however the formula is formulated, it's working with my hair. Because we've seen other products that are thin, like hair milks, that do nothing for my hair. So, ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, liking these results, let's bring you guys in and we'll do another section. Okay, so here's the section right here, really defined, little frizz, no like residue. The only thing, it does feel a little crunchy, which I know that you guys said it's going to dry crunchy, but it, and it does look a little like not bouncy it looks a little flat so i'm hoping that the curls kind of spring up and not stay like kind of ramen-y like this i think two people said that they had like ramen results so that's something that i'm a little worried about but as far as the definition um and like the frizz part it's pretty good but it does feel a little dry so let's keep going my opinion, the gel is what's making it um, kind of feeling dry and crunchy. So I really do love this um, leave-in on its own. It feels very moisturizing and it leaves the hair soft. Depending on the results, I might just go ahead and use this, like continue to use this on its own with another gel. Um, if the gel seems to be too crunchy for me in the end, but I do love this leave-in like really really love it And I'm surprised that it's working so well on my hair and it's so light It's not a thick butter which is which is nice because that means like it won't be like heavy and weighed down See I mean that takes no time at all really nice I'm just going to take a little bit of gel and see yeah you don't need a lot yeah because now it's starting to get hard so I'm going to scrunch that up some all right so here are the wet results um like i said the not today leave-in is definitely my favorite out of the two it is so moisturizing and it absorbs into all parts of my hair you guys know i have different textures and different porosities all throughout my hair and there was no section where the not today did not perform well which is amazing there are some products that only perform well on certain parts of my hair and for this especially these parts back here my frizzy parts and my most low porosity parts that really that are really stubborn this just smoothed in this just smoothed in so well i mean throughout my whole head i am in love with this leave-in so i will definitely be using this um in the future and i don't know about the gel the gel like i said feels a little drying and once you put it on it definitely changes how your hair feels so i do know that it's going to dry crunchy and also it does look a little stringy so i think i'm going to diffuse this week only to kind of scrunch up and make the curls bounce a little bit more because i feel like this is going to be a good result no frizz no anything but it might not be as curly if i air dry so um yeah i mean i'm excited the wet results look really really good i'm most excited that i found a leave-in that i could use so i'm going to try a few different other styles with that with no gel or with other gels just to see the results because that is definitely going to be a staple now in my hair care routine so let's go ahead and dry and then let's see the final results oh my gosh
Y'all, do you see? Do you see this? <laughs> okay, Kinky Curly. All right, so obviously we are fully dry and obviously I am loving it. Like, y'all, what? Okay, so I am really, really shocked because I did not experience any of the crunchiness that you guys mentioned. Um, when it air dried, it was a little crunchy, but it was in the process, so it was still kind of wet. But as it fully dried, I did not have to scrunch out any crunch. I um, did a little bit of both. I let it air dry for a day. Today is Saturday, um, and I'm a little late, but it's been really gloomy. And like I said, I film with natural lighting, so the, uh, yesterday it just it wasn't happening. But even after today, it looks even better. I put it up in a pineapple last night, and no crunch. I mean, it's so soft, y'all. It has so much movement. The curls are not, like, ramen like I thought they were going to be. Because when it was wet, it did look a little stringy, but they have bounced up. I mean, this is like semi-Camille Rose. Can we agree? Can we agree that this is, like, close second to Camille Rose? I mean, look at my frizzy parts back here. They're defined. They are not frizzy. Like, in my, you know, to me, they're not frizzy. It might be frizzy to somebody else. But, oh, my God, I love it. So, I was a little bit wrong about the gel. Now, when it goes on, it does feel drying. I'm not going to um, say that. It does feel, like, sticky and drying. But once it dries, y'all, on my hair, this worked so well. I didn't have to use any oil. I probably will tonight to combat the frizz. Um, but that is it and I feel like I'm gonna get a few days out of this because it is so cute like I love it the curls are springy like my hair is not frizzy it's soft it's movable like you know it you know it's just it's perfect I love it so this is definitely I don't know which one is better like okay Camille Rose Kinky Curly and Design Essentials top three Y'all agree? I don't know. Let me know. But yes, thank you for waiting. I know y'all been waiting for like, where is she at with this video? She did the live stream on Wednesday. I know, but I'm here. Thank you guys for waiting. Hope you enjoyed everything and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.